Montgomery County Public Schools, the Montgomery County Department of Health and Human Services, and several community organizations collaborated this past weekend to host vaccine and health clinics throughout the county. These events are part of an ongoing effort to encourage eligible students to get the COVID vaccine. This particular uh, COVID uh, virus and the vaccine um, it has had a disproportionate impact on our families of color. And so we want to ensure that we are for the health of all of our students, that we are ensuring that we help to, uh, to mitigate that uh, and to really to decrease the impact of COVID across our system. So we have gotten thousands of students vaccinated, high school students, middle school students now, and soon we'll be looking to vaccinate younger children as well. And we're back to keeping our students safe and we've gotten to this point by being in partnership with each other and, and, and keeping, our, keeping our students and our staff safe in this, in this process. Along with the vaccinations, MCPS staff were on site to answer questions from residents. We try to make it a really good experience for our children and our families so that they leave happy and they have a good memory about doing a good thing and getting their vaccination. We have been so grateful for all the community support from MCCPTA to MCPS to DHHS, NAACP and other groups for our home school of East Silver Spring Elementary School and the community at large. And this is what you're seeing today, a grassroots effort to bring everyone together in a culturally inclusive way to celebrate how we can keep everyone healthy and safe. We ought to be really concerned about it in children because this is their developmental period. In young people, their bodies are growing and developing. It's important they don't get something that can stick with them for a long period of time. So I would urge parents, you know, please get your kids the vaccines. When they're eligible for boosters, get them the boosters, please. For more information on having your child tested or vaccinated, contact your child's school or go to montgomeryschoolsmd.org for the latest COVID-19 update.